The Miracle Season is a true story of West High School's miraculous volleyball season in 2011. After West High School's volleyball captain Caroline is tragically killed in an auto accident, Kelly, her best friend, has to help her coach Kathy, played by the lovely Helen Hunt, to motivate her volleyball team to win the state championship. The director, Sean McNamara, is a Disney Channel alumni and it shows. This film is a good family-friendly flick, but it feels like it's more like a made-for-TV movie. It's a true story and the trailer spells out the entire movie for you, so you already know what's gonna happen. I mean, there's literally no suspense at all, but this movie actually takes first place on the least amount of impact any movie has had on me whatsoever that I've seen this year at least. It's not about if they would win, it's about how emotional they would be on the road to victory. The filmmakers, they just focus too much on the emotional sappy elements of the movie. This movie made me cheer cry. I mean, it pulled out every trick in the tearjerker movie playbook. You had a young girl dying, the girl's mother dying, an emotional gift callback, the divorced coach trying to have some accomplishment in her life, the outcast that rises to be a champion. I mean, it's all there, all of it. There are some giggle bits, mostly of the heartwarming Disney variety. Some made me giggle, some made me cry, some made me giggle cry. It was a complicated whirlwind of emotions. Some of the moments of sentimentality are so heavy-handed and they feel that way. You know, you just sense the filmmakers trying to tug at your heartstrings. For me, I actually enjoyed the moments best that were in between the big moments when the characters actually felt like they were real people. But you know, with the heavy-handed speeches at just the right moments, it just it made all the emotions feel forced. The true story this movie is based on is unbelievable, but that doesn't make it any more exciting. It's, it's volleyball. I mean, that, there's nothing here really to get your blood pumping for us action fans. The best part of this film for me was the credits. Not because it was the end of the movie, but because they showed footage and photos from Caroline's life as well from the Miracle Season. It was pretty impactful and it made me think this probably would have been better done as an ESPN documentary. I mean, the way they filmed it just made the events feel cheap. Ultimately, this movie does not do the Miracle Season justice. This movie made me giggle cry, and I'm okay admitting that. Five out of 10. As I said, the movie felt very heavy handed and it continuously took me out of the movie. Three out of 10. They wanted to make me cry, but they failed because there was nothing emotionally interesting about the story. Two out of 10. There was no action whatsoever in this teen chick flick movie. Zero out of 10. The true story is awesome. The movie is just an okay, made for TV sappy sports movie. Live like Lime, just not the version in this movie. Four out of 10. We here at Who's Review give the Miracle Season the overall rating of a missed serve. While the true story of West High School's amazing season had everything it needed to tug at the heartstrings to have an emotionally powerful story, the by-the-book filmmaking, it just made this seem too much like a made-for-TV movie. Now, if you do want to see this film, we suggest you wait for the inevitable TNT True Sports Movie Marathon that'll feature The Miracle Season, Blindside, and probably We Are Marshalled. It'll happen, eventually. Trust us. Well, that's a review. Have you seen A Miracle Season? What do you think? Are we way off, right on? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll check it out and respond. As always, if you want to stay up to date on all things Who's Review, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and most importantly of all, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We thank you guys for checking us out here at Who's Review, where everyone's a critic. Tragically killed. I'm losing my voice. I still have like three characters to go.